Okay, so we're here once again in Arcade Empire, and I've done a little bit of uh, grinding. As you can see now, I've got uh, basically a full floor of golden machines. I've got an, another prize claw machine that's golden. I've got um, some more golden maze machines, and I've still got this Russo punching bag, which is still somehow my best one so far. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually come through and just collect all the cash and stuff. Uh, 21. 21. Some more cash there. Some more cash there. And 180 from that one. Nice one. Uh, okay, so... I need to spend 22 more dollars. I need to also make a rainbow machine. So I'm just gonna buy one of these machines, boom. There we go, that's not paid off, and now I've got 1,100. Um, I need to buy five sword fighter machines, which are 350 each. I can buy three max so far, uh, but I'm not actually gonna do that yet. What I'm gonna keep doing is, well, I can't really make a uh, buy a golden one yet, but what I'm actually gonna do is, this is gonna be a weird one, I'm going to buy four maze machines or maze games that are golden. That is because if I, uh, there is a way to do this somewhere. Store, if I set my store to closed, everyone should leave that they have done. If I now remove all of these machines over here and then I come into my thingy down here I now have 11 of these machines which means I now have a rainbow machine so uh, if I go back to my games and I just place down my gold one I can then also place down my rainbow one there we go that looks nice even though it's not really rainbow it's just kind of purple uh, but it's going to do bits basically uh, I think it said it did 35? I'm not sure I can check anymore, but I'm pretty sure it said 35 uh, per play, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's reopen our store again. Current stats, I'm getting about $500 a minute. Uh, whether that will go up, and up or down, I don't know. Uh, I've played nearly an hour, uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, there are my stats, you can read them. So, oh, actually, let's turn on the rainbow effect. Does that make my machine rainbow now? It does not. Maybe it's just graphics-wise. Um, obviously, I've not looked at it properly yet, but, you know. Uh, so, I have actually gotten enough to buy some more of these. I can also buy one of these or, well, nearly two of these, or I can nearly buy one 800 one. And I am actually going to wait here my money to go up uh, obviously I can buy money but I'm not going to do that I'm going to try and keep it as free to play as possible uh, until I decide I just want to pay for stuff um, so yeah uh, I'm actually going to I can actually sell this chair and I can also oh, let's go back and I can also sell the arcade machine for five dollars thank you very much and that brings us enough to the $800 capsule. Let's open it up. And we get a uncommon witch. Which is very nice. If we come into this now and go into our customers. I need to scroll back up to see where this witch is. So we've obviously got the firemen and the firewomen here. The witch is here. That does nearly 1.5 times. Which is great. So... We come back to our arcade again. Uh, we're nearly at 300 total customers, which is nice. Uh, all I need to do really now is just kind of fill this up again. Maybe with golden maze machines and then get a rainbow maze machine, perhaps. Uh, I just need to kind of fill this up with customers, more or less. Uh, which could then, it might just be a good tactic to just kind of fill it up with normal maze machines. 
then I can just remove them and make a golden one. Or I can just buy... Uh, I can't buy two golden ones yet because I don't have enough money. So let's just quickly run back. Um, someone has played that, thank you. Oh, that's enough. Sweet. So let's come back again. Come in here, do this, click max, buy. Um, and then I can't actually even buy two normal maze machines. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. So if we come to here now, press game, and we do this, and we do this. So that'll just bring in a bit more customers, I hope. Uh, I'm nearly at level seven, so I might just wait it out. Uh, I can't really remember how XP works in this game. I'm pretty sure you just get like a couple per play. Uh, does it say on this? It does not. Um, I can't quite remember how you see or if you can see uh, the stats without it being in your inventory down here but I'm pretty sure my rainbow machine is now I don't know it's just doing a lot that's all I can tell you it's doing a lot um, my collector guy isn't doing a very good job of collecting any money uh, oh, it's just it's, I think he's just really slow um, but yeah, I'm not sure there's any, like, secrets in this game that I could, like, walk into and get, like, a... Oh. Okay, then. I guess this is, like, the... Maybe it's the game creator there. Uh, not sure I can get anything from him. Let's just keep... Oh, I can't run any further behind this house. Can I go into this house? I cannot. Okay, so it doesn't seem like that there's any other secrets apart from that guy playing the arcade behind the shop. Um, I can buy another two golden maze machines. So let's go ahead and do that. Back to our arcade, in we go. Games, we can put one there and then we can put one over here. So I'm hoping the more machines we have, the more customers that just kind of like walk in. Uh, maybe, maybe I need to like get some decoration too. So let's go get some decor. Um, walk into here. What can we afford? We can get two of these uh, potted trees or we can get a couple of these, which gives us a rating point. That one gives us one rating point, two rating points, and three rating points. Even though they're the same price. So I guess I'm just going to buy some of these. Yeah, you can't actually get any shiny ones or golden ones or anything. So let's just get three of them. Come back, and we'll just like kind of like place these around somewhere. Uh, put one there. Put one there. And we can put one at the entrance. There we go, now it's me, look at that, I'm next to it. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how you check your rating. Is there a way? Rating, here we go. Uh, potted cactuses, we've got nine points. So we've got a total of ten points so far. Uh, obviously, it doesn't equate to a star because we need 500. 500 total rating points to get one star. Wow. Uh, unless we just kind of like stack them all up in the middle. Oh, hello. We've got a new worker, Jake. And we also got a lot of money. Fantastic. Uh, well, let's just... Uh, that's my inventory, whoops. Let's go to the shop. And uh, we can... Um, we cannot afford another rainbow machine. We can buy five golden ones. So let's do that. And let's just one, two, three, four, five. Okay. There's another five, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry, people. You are going to get angry at me and leave my shop. But we need more rainbow machines. Uh, have we got ten? Yeah, we do. Oh, I accidentally removed my... Uh, whoops. I removed my... Uh, Rainbow Maze Machine, let's just move it over there. Come back into this menu. Upgrade. Yeah, it's $35 a play, which is absolutely great. So let's place this down. Boom. Oh, now it's kind of like doing a rainbow. 
And it's stopped now. Oh, this one's doing rainbow. Oh, so it's this one. Maybe it's just that when I'm in first person, it doesn't do the rainbow. Oh no, it's kind of it's doing it. It's kind of doing it. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, we come and get two more rain, uh, not two more, uh, two more golden. Wow, we we can just buy twenty-seven normal ones. Um, should I just go crazy and just buy like fifty? No, they won't be able to fit in my shop. Obviously not. Uh, let's just buy as many golden ones as we can. We're left with six dollars. Uh, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. And let me just place you there, place you there, and place you there. Okay, cool. So we've managed to get another two. Well, well, we've managed to get two more rainbow maze machines. We've managed to get some more uh, golden maze machines, and. I need to probably concentrate now on getting prize claw machines, the golden ones. Um, if I come over here now, and let me just quickly check how much the prize claw machine does. So it does three times that by seven, that's 21. Um, so yeah, it's kind of good to get prize claw machines, but it is actually cheaper overall to get uh, rainbow maze machines right now so I'm pretty sure I might just keep doing that instead until I have enough to go up um, I do need to buy three more machines uh, so I may as well just buy three maze ones and then just sell them for five dollars because it's just it gets me money in the end so one two three buy that there you go I got actually more money out of that in the end so let's just come sell these one two three Sell, thank you for $15. I need to clean machines, buy, oh, I do actually need to buy sword fighter machines. Interesting. That does give me quite a lot of XP too. So let's just get that started now. I can buy two. So let's just get that started and we'll just put them in our shop somewhere. Games, sword fighter, we can put one there. Oh, we can put one there. So that's perfect. They're just kind of out of the way. So yeah, uh, I think I might actually, if I come back into the workers, I can buy another money collector. So I might buy him. Seems though he is good, I guess. It's good to get cash, AFK and stuff. Still can't buy any upgrades. I don't really need to buy the item upgrades anyway. There we go, we can buy Jeremy now. So in comes Jeremy, he's going to collect some cash. Uh, this machine, these, both of these machines are broken actually. Uh, I just kind of stole my own worker's job there as well. Oh, so these are like dual games. Ah, I see. So these will actually get me more money in the end anyway because two people will come up to these and play these. Um, like so. So that's kind of like having two machines in one spot. Okay, cool. So that's good to know. Uh, I'm just going to come through and collect all my money, see how much money I have uh, by the end of this. Can't collect from there, can't collect from there at the moment. Uh, I just collected from there. $7, $300, $70, and I can't collect from there. So we've got nearly a thousand, which is very tasty. Let me just check how many um, golden machines I've got. I've got one, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, so we've got a six. So let's come to eight and we can buy three. So I just need to save up a little bit. I need to save up a little bit. And then we'll have our third machine. And just I'd need another. Well, I don't need anything, no. So let's come to the shop. Over today. Uh, let's get a, a golden one. Bye. Quickly move over here to our arcade. And I am sorry, people. You are going to get mad at me once more. I am sorry about that. But I've got rainbow machines to make. Boom. There we go. Place. And in it goes. 
So we now have three rainbow machines, uh, which give us a lot of money. 42 there, 35 there. Obviously, I think the money's just been collected and stuff. Um, is there any in this one? I guess there's no money in this one. Five dollars, five dollars. Money's just been collected from there by Jeremy. Thank you. Um, oh, my Janet is just cleaning some stuff. I need to actually clean one more machine to get a bit more money. Uh, I'm not sure any of them are dirty at the moment. Does not seem that way. So yeah, I'll leave this video here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll obviously keep doing this and I'll see you all in the next video.